The night was filled with wonderful singing as the mads performed one challenging piece after the other. Of course, a mad concert will not be complete without letting loose and making the audience laugh with their antics. The audience could not help but ask for more and they obliged giving two impressive encore performances. <laughs> the Philippine Madrigal Singers, on the other hand, are happy to give inspiration to the contenders. Overwhelming din po na mabahagi namin yung talent namin sa iba't ibang choirs dito sa Philippines. Hindi lang sa Filipino community, pati sa international community. Yes. Kasi nakita natin marami din mga foreign, uh, foreigners na pumunta. So it's great to be part of that. It's really wonderful kasi uh, madalas outside of the country yung mga big competitions. Pero hopefully this would start something really great. Uh, a uh, great tradition. Um, well, I haven't watched all of the categories yet, but uh, I've heard that some are very good and some are terrific, excellent. And I'm really happy that uh, choirs here in the Philippines have really improved na, and uh, they have come a very, very long way. I'm very happy because it's the first time that there's a choral competition here in the Philippines. Definitely a pleasure. Given uh, yung MADS, kami yung resident company, so symbolically, um, sobrang okay yun yan na experience kasi being part of the festival, at least we get to celebrate it with the other choirs who are trying to raise the standard. It's a privilege for us. Sobrang saya rin namin kasi, you know, we're given the chance to share our talents like the mga other choirs. Sobrang Sobrang talented din ng mga choirs all over the Philippines. So we're very, very proud and very honored to have our concert para sa kanila. Masarap na masarap, syempre. Kasi parang, parang history ito dahil first time nga. No? So it's really, parang, it's, uh, it feels so, I feel so alive, of course, di ba? Uh, to be part of this uh, momentous celebration. Syempre, masayang masaya. Of course, masaya kami na maraming choir ang nabubuo sa buong Pilipinas. And this is their time to experience a competition and with international known judges. So this is a very good experience for them. And we are very, very happy to uh, have uh, this event. And for the closing, we are very happy to sing for them also to inspire them. The founder of MADS, National Artist for Music, Professor Andrea Venerashon, has a dream of a singing Philippines. And this first national choral competition of the Cultural Center of the Philippines brings that dream one step closer to reality. The MADS et al. network is a network of choirs um, whose conductors are present or past madrigal singers. Yes, uh, some of the choirs actually joined the competition. Actually, Mataas na ang level natin sa, sa pa choral scene. Kapag uh, lumabas kayo sa bansa, um, maraming 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 choir. Pero here we are somewhat uh, lumelevel na rin sa kanila sa, sa, in, in, uh, sa choral scene niya. And to the choirs that joined the competition, whether they win or lose, the Philippine Madrigal Singers have this advice. Magaling silang lahat, as in super, as in super nakakatuwa kasi, alam mo yun, may puso sila lahat. Parang siguro, keep on singing lang, keep on singing for the Lord. Just keep singing, whatever your passion is, kanta lang, go lang, never give up, never stop learning. Magsipag lang, at saka dapat may passion kayo, and you know, commitment din dun sa, dun sa craft. Yun. At saka maraming prayers. Don't go away, because when we return, I'll let you in on what's happening next at the Cultural Center of the Philippines when the red carpet returns.
to find out who won, so stick around because I'm going to give you the award tonight of the first CCP National Choral Competition. And finally, the hour of reckoning is upon us. After a week of hard work and brilliant performances, joys and tears, Once again, the contending choral groups gather for a final time in the night to bring heartaches to some and victory to others. The judges, all heavyweights in choral competitions all over the world, had a hard time choosing the best among the rest. The Philippines is known for its great choirs, and this became apparent at awards night. Most of the contestants received bronze and silver certificates, indicating their top-notch caliber. But these choirs stood above the rest as they all received the much coveted gold certificate. Kakaiba yung pakiramdam namin, parang gusto namin umiyak ng madaming madami, isang balding luha sa sobrang tuwa namin dahil yung pinagod namin lahat. Ito na ngayon yung resulta. I feel very honored kasi Anima is a new choir. We formed this um, four months ago, just a group of friends. Yeah, we, we rehearse once a week per category and we were so surprised that we won. Siyempre po, masayang masaya po yung pakadami kasi nga it's our very first competition here at CCP kaya po napakasaya po namin. Hindi po rin namin in-expect naman na kasi halos magagaling po lahat yung mga nakatunggali namin so talagang talaga napakasaya at hindi namin talaga in-expect. At least with this first na contest na represent din namin yung Mindanao na at least mayroong choir sa Mindanao na nakaabot sa standard ng goal. But the night's biggest winners are the University of Visayas Corral and Eve Musicapella. Both of whom received gold certificates for all the categories that they entered. <laughs> Masaya siyempre. <laughs> siguro. Siguro. I think experience siguro. Tsaka more knowledge sa conductor. Uh, choir experience mostly experience. Siguro pag they have more experience, then manala, I'm sure parang ano lang, parang laban lang kung sino talaga yung better. At it. But everybody was very good. First of all, we didn't really expected to win because all of those Philippine choirs who competed uh, at the first TCP national competition were excellent choirs. We tried our best. For these choirs, the victory is only the start of their journey. Anima's looking at um, like really finding new ways to present choral music. So we're, we're looking for new ways to have concerts. We will continue pa rin, and we hope that uh, we can get more support from our friends and people in Mindanao so that we can continue promoting Mindanao here in Manila, not only in Manila but all over the world. Maybe magkakaroon kami ng concerts this coming December or January and join uh, other choral festivals. 
The winners give their final performances to inspire us and to remind us that the Philippines is a country that is rich in talent. Um, as a board member of the Philippine Choral Directors Association, I really, really encourage all the choirs from north to south of the Philippines to just simply join. Manalo matalo kasi after this, definitely ang nakilaki ng improvement ng mga choirs natin. Talagang din pagbalik nyo sa hometown, iba na yung magiging tunog nila kasi na form, na practice. So just keep joining, win or lose, it's, the, 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 it's what we get out of it that matters. Sa kanila, sali lang sila ng sali kasi from there, they learn. No? And then, kasi ang Philippines, masyado siyang mayaman sa talents. And yung mga competitions like this, uh, it, isa ito sa mga parang stepping stones nila to achieve higher goals. Sali lang ng sali. Tapos kasi sa pagsali, marami tayong uh, natututunan. Hard work natin. Um, Siyempre, kailangan natin magmahalan sa bawat isa, mag-practice. The first ever CCP National Choral Competition may have come to an end, but it gave birth to a new tradition, an annual competition that is sure to surpass international standards and to establish our country as a land known for its exceptional choirs. Don't go away, because when we return, I'll let you in on what's happening next at the Cultural Center of the Philippines when the red carpet returns. witness the CCP's National Choral Competition, from the opening to the awards night, to the wonderful kind performances by the Philippine Madrigal Singers. This event truly deserves to be this month's What's Hot. But, wait a minute, we still have more. Now let's take a look at what's happening next month at the Cultural Center of the Philippines. These are the events you shouldn't miss. There's an overload of events for the ninth month of the year as CCP celebrates its anniversary month. Internationally acclaimed Filipino pianist Cecil Likad joined forces with German cellist Alban Gerhardt in two special concerts, a duo performance on September 15th and a concert with the PPO on the 16th. September 18th proves to be lively for the CCP as several events fill the day. As a thank you to all CCB incumbent and former officers and employees, the Cultural Center will hold Tipanan at Gabe ng Parangal ng CCP Gawad Sinag at the CCP Main Theater. Also on the 18th, an exhibit which chronicles the development of the CCP as cultural institution opens at the Bulwagang One Luna. Entitled Daloy, 40 years, the exhibit is not just multimedia but multi-sensory as well. On September 24, a commemorative magazine entitled Genesis will be launched at the CCP Main Theater Lobby. The magazine provides readers with information on CCP's past and present programs and directions, honors significant personalities who contributed to the success of the CCP and activities marking CCP's 40th anniversary. 
CCP Outreach and Exchange Division celebrates its 30th anniversary with a commemorative CD entitled Lakbay Himig, a compilation of the best musical creations and performances by 30 of the country's most prominent musical artists to be launched on September 30 at the CCP Main Theater Lobby. I hope you enjoyed the show. Join us again next month as we find out what's up, what's hot, and what's happening next here at the Cultural Center of the Philippines. I'm Cutie Dalmar, and you are watching The Red Carpet.